Welcome everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, replace your head gasket on a Boland Snow King engine. This is going to apply to multiple small engines. Pretty much any Tecumseh engine is the same setup, especially horizontal shaft. Um, this also can apply loosely to Briggs and Stratton engines. Uh, most of these flat heads, flat head small engines are uh, very similar in how they work. Um, so. I already have the carburetor off because, as you saw in the <coughs> um, in the previous video, that uh, we're rebuilding the carburetor on this snowblower, getting this ready for winter. Um, so I'm going to wait to put that back on until I get the throttle linkage out of the way and replace the head gasket because it's just going to make it easier. It's going to give us a lot more space. I also already went ahead and uh, took the muffler off, which I'm going to be um, painting because it looks like junk. <clears throat> so, anyway, um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's two half inch bolts here. They also hold the bracket for the gas tank on. So, we're just going to go ahead and take those right off. They're half inch heads. Go ahead and pull the spark plug wire off. And we can pull this top shield off the, off the head. Here we see the head exposed. Just set that shield down there for now. I'm going to go ahead and use our Phillips head and uh, we're going to pull this electric start mechanism right off. So now we can go ahead and take a quarter inch. There's two quarter inch bolts right here that hold the throttle linkage on. Don't confuse the throttle linkages. This one goes to the the main mechanism we we just took off. The smaller and shorter one goes to the carburetor. It's really hard to confuse them, but uh, just make sure that you know which one's going where. So as you can see now that we have the cover off, um, these bolts are leaking oil around them, and the oil is leaking down here around the head and dripping down the block. And that's how we can tell that the head gasket needs to be replaced. So now we're going to go ahead and pull the front shroud off. Um, there's two halves on top here. We have two halves, uh, or excuse me, two seven sixteenths down on the edge here on either side but I believe we can get to them with a Phillips head as long as it doesn't uh, the reason I say we should be able to get to these with a Phillips head and what I'm going to try is because the ignition linkage or the ignition plate right here is very close and I can't get a socket in there so we're going to go ahead and try the Phillips and see if that works Now the front cover should come off. Uh, there is going to be a primer line back here for the primer ball. So we're going to want to be cautious of that. Here's the primer line right here. Um, we're going to make want to make sure that we don't pinch that putting it back together. I'm going to leave the cowl off just slightly off like that and so that we can get to the head easier um, and it's kind of hard to mess with the um, getting the cowl out past all the linkages for the wheels and the tines and such <clears throat> now that we have the cowl off we can go ahead and take our half inch and we're going to loosen all of these bolts you don't have to pre-loosen them, you can just take them all out but. I'm just going to loosen all of them so that I can work them out from there by hand since I didn't bring my impact from work which would have made this easier
only bolts that are different are these over here because that's where the gas tank bracket mounts to. They're slightly longer and they have a different head on them. We're going to want to make sure we put them back in that space. Those bolts also are the only ones that have washers under them. We're also going to want to put those back on when we put the bolts back in. Now using our screwdriver, we're going to go in between the block and the head and twist up. And there it is. And here we see the guts of the engine exposed. There's some junk sitting in here. Some random stuff. All in all, the head looks like it's in decent shape. There's some carbon buildup. We'll clean that up best we can, but uh, I'm not too concerned about it. Most engines this size do have carbon buildup like that. Uh, there's a lot of oil and carbon buildup on the valves. It means we probably need valve seals or maybe a piston ring. This thing really doesn't burn that much oil though. Um, probably a piston ring um, would be good for this thing. should really be all rebuilt, but at the age it's in, I'm not really too worried about it. It really doesn't use that much oil. Um, nice that uh, that head gasket came off in one piece. It means we're not going to have to uh, spend too much time prepping and scraping the head. I want to make sure that this new this new head gasket has a nice surface to mate to. head of the engine is prepped, we can go ahead and turn our attention to the uh, the head itself. Uh, the block is done. And we're just going to go ahead and scrape this off just the same as we did the head. While we're scraping this head, we want to be sure not to put any nicks in here. If we shave a little off, it's not a huge deal on the edges, but in the middle, you want it to be nice and flat. So, using a metal, a steel razor blade on aluminum, you've got to be very careful. It is the most effective way, but you do have to be careful. I have the uh, head gasket here for the Tecumseh. This is part number 34923A for this motor. Go ahead and get your hardware ready. You'll go ahead and start putting this back together. head to spec, there is some foot-pound uh, actual number that you're supposed to torque these to. I have never once in my life torqued any small engine head to any kind of spec with a torque wrench. Um, I've always done it by feel. It's just uh, an, an experience thing, really. Um, I will uh, look up the spec and put it in the description for you. Um, 
so that you can torque it to spec if it's your first time. But um, the most important thing you really need to know, apart from the spec, is the tightening pattern. So there, I'm sure there's also a specific pattern, but you, uh, I've never had any problems with torquing them as long as you torque them in a cross hatch pattern. So you start with this one here, and I just go a slight turn. I tighten these till they're hand tight, and then I go, you know, a half to a quarter turn on each, probably a quarter turn. But I went from that one to that one, and I go over here, quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn. That one was a little loose. Quarter turn over here, quarter turn, quarter turn, and then I do it all again. Um, now that you have it tightened down, you can go ahead and put it all back together, fire it up, see how she runs, and it's always a good idea to put a new spark plug in when you do these as well, so make sure you do that too. Um, next video, I will show you how to tune your freshly rebuilt carburetor on a Tecumseh um, series like this, an HM80 or similar. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.